Responding to concerns regarding price of essential goods in Meghalaya, Food and Civil Supplies Minister Coming One Umbon today clarified that logistical challenges, infrastructure limitations and external factors like climate change rather than any government mismanagement have affected prices. Addressing the media, Umbon explained that Meghalaya is heavily dependent on imports for essential commodities as the state is not a major producer of vegetables or meat. He also said that the lack of railways and reliance on road transport increases transportation costs and that leads to price rise. He also shared that the recent restriction on heavy vehicles over 4 metric tons from crossing the Umyam Bridge has also affected the price of commodities. Trucks carrying vegetables and other essentials from Assam now have to take a longer route via Maurungkaneng, increasing transportation costs. The minister informed of the proactive measures undertaken by the government to address rising prices of essential commodities, including government initiatives to stabilize prices and by strengthening monitoring mechanisms. <laughs> Getting this uh, price price rise as per the some of the political parties, because the government has the nothing regarding this price rise. But as part of information I got from the department, all of the commissioner and all the they doing a good job of this. They monitor every day guiding this. There is no price rise as of now. The price is stable, even from the government also. We're trying to work hard for this. You know, we have the data regarding this other state also. More or less, the state, not this <coughs> big difference. Maybe we the difference only 50 percent to 100 But they charge us, oh, this is prices. Rice in Meghalaya like this and this. Only this vegetable and meat, I have seen the price rise. The rest of the essential communities almost the same. Yes. Vegetable and meat don't come under essential communities. They are also essential communities. But so you, see, you see, vegetable. I think you know vegetable. Suppose if this uh, monsoon is late, then the vegetable prices become high. If the, some, sometimes when the national calamities affected the flood and everything, like onion, onion now is almost 70 rupees per kg. Only onion I have seen. The price is too high. Because due to the natural calamities, due to the flood, everything, no? that's why we the people in Meghalaya, we don't have the production of onion in Meghalaya. We depend from maybe from Maharashtra, from Bihar. That's why, due to the climate change, before in Meghalaya, heavy rain in Meghalaya. Now you have seen the climate change in Meghalaya is no more rain. Rain is now in heavy rain in Maharashtra, heavy rain in Bihar. That is the effect of the economy. But you are saying there is no price rise. Mm -hmm. If there is no price rise, then what is this vegetable and meat? No price. vegetable and meat. So it shows price rise, partial in some Yes, in yes, I know. But this, totally, uh, you cannot deny. You see. The meat also, we depend from outside. Almost three to four hundred crores, people spend the money to bring outside the meat. That is depend from the, the source who bring the uh, meat and all. No. But in Shillong, uh, compared to all the it is in the north, the towns in the north. Why Shillong has the highest price? So many factors in Shillong is price rise. Because you see, now in Shillong, regarding this meat or what? Yeah, vegetable meat you are saying. Vegetable. Here in Shillong, you know the Shillong is a, Meghalaya is not a production state. We have to bring from outside in India. We depend from outside. If the rate in other state also is high in vegetable, I think Shillong also is a state. The main factors regarding this, I have seen after the government is prohibited to Fly the heavy truck from dump site, no? they call dump site. Now the distance is increased. They have the truck they have to go through Maukane. That is also one is the main factor, the price size. Price size means as of now I have seen only one rupees or two fifty paisa because of this. 
But other North Eastern states are cheaper than Shillong. Yes, so many factors. If you are talking about we in India, we don't have a railway. We depend on railway. Railway, Magalan also doesn't. Makachin doesn't have. Mizoram doesn't have. So you are saying that railways are not having railway is affecting. That also is okay. I think you know better. The the fare by train is maybe two rupees by truck. Four five piece they think about this uh, price monitoring system. So there is no need to send people physically to any place. There is a centralized dashboard which has been made by from the side of the ministry. So essential commodities in each and every uh, state in each and every district all over the country is found out by the concerned supply department and the uh, uploads are made. So we can go to the to the price monitoring dashboard and we can get the figures of all the uh, uh, essential com commodities of our state, nearby states, north northeastern states. But the point of reference for us will be only the northeastern states plus maximum say Cal Calcutta is, is is one center that we look uh, into. So based on that, we have got the rates of like so suppose just to give you a question, we have made a, a, a chart of Shillong, Aizol. Guwahati, Calcutta. So in, in that way, you get a fair idea that in all of Northeast, what is the uh, price of rice, sugar, masoor dal, and, and so forth and so forth. So what Sir has been saying is that uh, there are various extraneous factors at play, particularly for these items, onion, potato, tomato, which are agricultural in nature. So these are uh, linked with many, many other factors. But there are other things also like rice, then you have dal, you have uh, sugar, milk, groundnut. All these uh, prices have been found to be stable. And also to add one, one more point also which Vishar has raised, we have asked, there cannot be one single price for each and every shop. There is a price range, so you should not shoot beyond the price range. If there is a shoot off beyond say 10%, 20%, alerts are there which, uh, which give us some indication that this commodity price is, is going up by 20%, 30%, what, what could be the cost. So weekly study is done just to find out what, what could be the factors.